Hi everyone and welcome back to school. This is the design I'm going to show you today. I already have a base code. And the first thing we are going to do is a French tip using this grey color. For me it's easier to do it from side to side, but it's totally up to you how you want to do it. And remember you don't have to be perfect with it because we are going to work on a further design. And just allow it to dry. The nails are dry now, so we are going to take a piece of paper and a bit of wild nail polish and using a thin brush we are going to start the design. It's like a line which is curved, thicker at the bottom and thinner at the end looks kind of like a horn and you can see it more properly on the picture then I know that this part of the video is blurred but there will be a picture so you will be able to see it better so using black we are going to do a similar design but this time on the other side of the nail and it will have two ends I'm sure you can't really see it properly but I'm not that good with camera <laughs> Once it's dry, I'm going to use the thinnest part of the dotting tool to make a few black dots. And you can put your dots wherever you wish, but I'm going to put mine above the wind line. Four on each nail. I'm not going to go very high with high with this design because I want it to be like interesting French manicure rather than over the full nail. Continuing with the dots. Then I'm going to add some medium sized dots over the white area I'm not sure if you can hear the cars if you can I'm sorry but the window is open it's really nice day today and then I've put the biggest size dots on the grey area you can see it properly on the picture Then I'm going to add white dot inside of the biggest black dot, three dots over the lower black line, one additional dot at the bottom and three white dots above the black. You can put your dots wherever you want, as I said. Just have fun with it. Then I thought I'm missing something, so again I've taken black and I've put few tiny dots 
on the other side of the white and this time I'm joining them so it looks almost like a line then I've taken a silver nail polish I love it because it's so shimmery and using a thin brush I've put it between the two black lines that is already the grey I've put I've used as a French tip but it didn't really stand out so I've decided to put the, the silver over it Then I've added the silver outline on the white <laughs> As you can see I was just looking at my fingers and thinking what to do because I was making this design while filming it Next time I should be more prepared actually And then I've outlined the bottom part of the black line as well. Then I've added tiny dots inside of the black dots which are on the white area, as you can see. And then finally I've added the silver outline at the bottom of the white line. And it looks like that. Of course it wouldn't be complete without the rhinestone. I've used the silver ones. Silver or transparent we can say. So I've taken the clear nail polish and using a dotting tool I've placed the rhinestone allow at least 15 minutes for the colors to dry because it's so much going on white and silver and black and you don't want them to mix and then put the top coat and you're done I hope you like this tutorial Thanks for watching. Bye.